Big cats are undoubtedly some of the most charismatic of living animals, exuding both fearsome power and elegance all at once, and none better exemplify this than the iconic tigers. Continuing on with the Year of the Tiger series from around the same time last year, I will be covering the remaining three extinct tiger subspecies, with them being discussed alphabetically on a daily basis until they are all covered. I hope you enjoy. Caspian tigers inhabited a vast region of Asia during the time they were around, being native to Eastern Turkey, Iran, throughout the Caspian Sea, which is where the most commonly used name originates, as well as into Ukraine and Western China. They are remarkably closely related to Siberian tigers, with phylogeographic analysis finding that the common ancestor colonised Central Asia via the Gansu Silk Road region from Eastern China a remarkably short time ago, being under 10,000 years ago and only really becoming isolated due to fragmentation caused by industrialization in the areas where they lived. Compared to other tigers, then compared to Siberian and Bengal tigers, with them also having shades of brown on them, with their black stripes being relegated only on the middle backs, tip of their tails, as well as their head and neck. Their ears were also quite a bit shorter, with their full body color being more of a gold through yellow, as well as having long and thick fur that was often seen to droop down quite extensively, all in order to cope with their cold conditions. Their extirpation and removal from several areas and eventual extinction came about through several factors, the main one being the mass killing by large parties of sportsmen and military personnel in the Soviet Union who aimed to reduce predator numbers across their territory. This was done to allow for more settlements and agricultural areas to be developed on without a risk of tigers interfering, with their preferred habitats being converted rapidly to plant and cotton and other crops that grew well in the rich silt along said rivers, something which was incredibly detrimental to them given their already restricted environment, since they were largely confined to water sources that were surrounded by large expanses of desert. A rise in disease in the early 1900s also led to a mass diet of pigs, one of their main food sources, so this didn't help them either. Caspian tigers were last reported in 1970, when one was claimed to have been shot in Turkey, which unfortunately put an end to them. Ideas to reintroduce their very close relatives, the Siberian tiger, into areas like Kazakhstan, where they used to roam, have been considered, so hopefully, tigers will once again roam areas of the Middle East once again, and this time without human interference and persecution. All in all, I thank you for watching this video on these animals and that you may have learned something new. If you would like to see more from this channel, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, I'll see you next time, whatever that may be.